When the rains come in autumn, uh, that's when we start to get mushrooms sprouting. They sprout in the open, in, in people's front lawns. They also sprout around large trees, big trees in parks. Um, so they're pretty prevalent everywhere in those uh, early autumn through to midwinter months. And every year we get calls to the poison centre for people that have been ingesting mushrooms and feeling unwell afterwards. The Victorian Poison Information Centre would typically receive somewhere between 200 to 400 calls a year. Overall, probably about a quarter of patients would require a trip to the emergency department. So the most dangerous mushrooms are probably the yellow stainer and the death cap or the Amanita phylloides mushroom. Uh, about 80% of our calls are from people that develop gastric symptoms, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and the most likely culprit's going to be the yellow stainer. The one that we really get concerned about, and I guess the one that keeps me up at night, is the death cap, which across the world accounts for about 90% of fatalities. The poison within it takes time to elaborate, takes time to form. So people could eat the mushroom and not feel unwell for uh, 24, 36 hours and present late and by the time they present with their symptoms their liver um, is, is starting to be affected already and for those people that die from a death cap mushroom ingestion it's from liver failure. Looking at a mushroom it's very hard to distinguish whether it's uh, poisonous or not. It takes an expert to determine whether this is a poisonous mushroom or not sometimes. And even so, the experts can get it wrong because it's so difficult. Look at a photo of a death cap mushroom. It's really well formed. It's a sort of whitish mushroom. It's got these gills and a veil underneath the, uh, the, the head of the mushroom. And it has a sort of receptacle that it's, um, it grows out of that's usually below the soil. So when you pull the mushroom out of the soil, you lose the receptacle that stays behind. So you, that sort of disting distinguishing feature is no longer there. And the veil is very, very thin. So again, once you uh, disturb it, it tends to break down. So what you've got in your hand is probably the same look as most mushrooms that you would buy in the supermarket. We do have some treatments, um, but effectively the best way to stop um, having uh, symptoms or significant illness from a death cap mushroom is to not eat them.